My name is Helene Knevelstrud and I'm a researcher at Radium Hospital. And my name is Jorrit Ensrink and I'm a research group leader also at the Radium Hospital. And in this video we want to explain how we have implemented user involvement in our research. So user involvement is involving the end users of the research process in the process itself. That could be in the planning, data collection or in the evaluation of the research project. Now why is it important to involve users in your research? I think this is very important because the Cancer Society is a charity and you have to be able to explain how you have used these funds in your research. So first of all, you have to define who your users are. Of course, we think of the patient as the user or the relatives of the patient. But users can also be clinicians or other health uh, professionals. They can also be other researchers or even health authorities or municipalities. So what can users do to help you with your research? I think maybe the most important uh, aspect of user involvement for us has been motivation of our research team. Because we make long days in the lab as, as scientists without ever seeing a patient. And their stories can really help you motivate your research team. Also, I think users can help you sharpen your research question. Because if you cannot explain in a few simple sentences why your research is so important, then I believe you still have work to do in sharpening and redefining your questions. And then finally, I think that uh, it is important to understand the needs of the patient because they may not necessarily be the same as what you believe are a patient's needs. So um, users or patients can provide unique perspectives and then bring new research ideas. And by having a continuous exchange of ideas by, with the users, you can also have the users help you disseminate the uh, results from your research project. So how to set up a user panel? Now, setting up a user panel takes time and it should not be an afterthought. So start planning this well in advance because many details have to be in place uh, and you have to define the expectations that you have of users and what users may have of you. What we started with was making contact with the Norwegian Leukemia Association and we got very helpful uh, feedback from them and a co collaboration to start a first user involvement seminar where we invited users to come and learn about user involvement. And from that seminar we got the contact information of individuals that were particularly interested in helping us with our research. And from those we have recruited three um, women that were particularly eager to help us with the research and we had the first meeting with them which was very helpful and positive. And now we are uh, continuing to work uh, with these three patients to, to improve our research questions and the research process. And finally, it is important that you budget for user involvement because they may have to take time off from work and they have uh, expenses for travel, uh, etc.